have a kitchen, like enough space in your kitchen, or even just like you have a desk chair yes. or your like a chair from your dining room table, that's great. If you don't have any of that, you can absolutely do these things in the center without holding on to anything. It's just as strengthening, just as good. So whatever whatever you have available to you is what you, you'll, you'll use. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with plies. All right. So if you are in a higher level, like level three, nine to 12 ballet, every exercise you should start with your feet in fifth position. If you are in my level one or two, you can start in the third position. So remember the difference between third is that your heel goes to the middle of your foot. And then my fifth position, heel to toe. Please do not try anything that you don't feel comfortable with. I will be talking about different modifications and just make sure that you stay safe. And if you don't have enough space, we will do other things as well. Okay, so plie. We will start, we will tendu and place into second position. I'm gonna face you. Now you need to be the sideways view. I'm gonna be the front ways view. Okay, here we go. Tendu, place second. Two demi plie. Demi plie and stretch. And two and stretch. We're gonna rise up and up, lower down and down. Repeat those two demi plies. Down and stretch. Down and stretch. Tendu and close into first. Same pattern in first. Two demi plies, one rise. Two demi plies, then you get a tendu and either place it in third position with your right foot front or in fifth position. Same thing in fifth. Two demi plies, one rise, lower, two demi plies, then everyone's going to tendu back in first. We're going to rise up and find a balance with our arms in fifth on O. And lower down. If you are of the older levels, feel free to add an arm to your plies. In my younger levels, you can keep your hand in fifth on ball or on your waist. Oh, let's do jazz. Oh, did you wish this was Did you like to demonstrate Yes, Naomi is going to demonstrate with quarter de bra. So if you're in the higher levels, you'd like the challenge, she's going to do her arm, then I'm just gonna keep this simple arm. And I'm also holding on with two hands. So if you would like, if you are facing your kitchen counter and you want to hold on with two hands and face it, you can. One hand, or if you have nothing to hold on to, you can do this without holding on to anything. Here we go. Are there any questions? We're doing pretty good. So, doing good? Way to go, guys. Super keen. I bet you everyone has their hair in a bun right now and it's an immaculate, amazing looking bun. I can feel it. But I'll never know, will I? So you're like, <laughs> yeah. Here we go.
okay, we are going to do that on the next slide. So if you have something to change by the time we end, not much to do for other parts. Um, some things just to reminders to think about whenever you're doing your TA, make sure your knee is tracking over your toes and think more of your pinky toe rather than your big toe. Right? We want to make sure that our posture is very strong and lifted and our hips are lifted. And we also want to make sure that every time we rise, our weight is closer towards our big toe when it doesn't move back towards our pinky toe. Okay? Good job. I'm sure that was perfect. Like the perfect blend in your hair right now. Here we go. On the other side. Just, you guys are just so intelligent. I love it. All right. 
such smart dancers. You have to be smart to be a dancer. That's how it works. Here we go. Ready? Can we balance on rise? Absolutely. If you're in my level threes, for sure, you can do that balance on rise. Yeah, so those of you who are in higher levels, you know how I normally challenge you guys. So by all means, you can add the extra arm, you can balance on rise. Awesome, here we go. On the other side. Remember, you're not in a dance studio. We got to make sure that we're doing things safely as well. Okay, it's confusing me. <laughs> All right, Dig J. Right foot in front. 
Here we go. in a tutu, we need to see that. That would be good time. Teach your animals all the things you've been learning. And you can try that for you. All right, here we go. The Ronde Ronde. Thank you. 
studio. <laughs> I don't know if it could be a pet studio. That could be fun. Imagine, like, instead of like a mommy and me class, it's a pet and me class. <laughs> you just have to make sure no one has allergies. Same thing on the other side. Here we go. going to be our grandpa ma. So if you don't have room for grandpa ma, let me know. Creative solutions are everywhere. Um, if you don't have room to get like your leg at the full height that it usually is, just go lower. Totally fine. Miss Naomi is going to demonstrate uh, like a lower 45 degree leg. So like my level ones, um, level twos, and then I'll demonstrate a higher leg. Um, I really, really, really emphasize, please do not try and get your leg as high as possible. It's really important for grandma Ma that you have the correct posture and the correct alignment. So when in doubt, go a little lower because I would hate for anyone to get injured. Um, your body is very important. So <laughs> demonstrate with your good posture. Either your feet in fifth position, third position, or first position. The choice is yours. For this one, I do not recommend facing anything for the front. If you haven't done grow up to the back, please do not try it now. And if you've only done grow up facing the bar, then that would be the time to face your kitchen counter to do that. So Miss Naomi is going to do her grandma onto to the front, and she's going to do it to the side facing, and then she's not going to do the back. Mm -hmm. One step, and then we'll do the other one. We'll just repeat. It'll be a fun, complicated dance. It's not that complicated. All right. Cool. Okay. So we're going to play five, six, arms, seven, and eight. Up, touch, close. Two, touch, close. Three, touch, plie. Quick, run, quick, lower. And against the front. Up, touch, close. Two, touch, close. Three, touch, plie. Quick, run, quick, lower. Now, because we're doing two different levels, we're going to have a little moment where Miss Naomi is going to go over here, and I'm just going to stand nice and tall. Then we're all going to do it to the side. So same thing to the side. Side, touch, close. Side, touch, close. Side, touch, plie, quick, run, and lower. And side, touch, close. Side, touch, close. Side, touch, plie, quick. Rise, quick, lower. If that quick rise and lower 
is confusing you, just do instead of plie rise, plie lower, just rise up and lower down. Get rid of the plie. Then Miss Hannah's group will keep going. Miss Naomi's group will do a little, maybe a little wiggle around, a little stretch, and we'll do the same pattern to the back. And then we'll all together go on the other side. I hope that makes sense. And I hope you make modifications if needed. Um, yeah? Okay. You don't have to hit your head in this exercise. I'm sure most of you have noticed by now this is all Disney music. You can sing and dance like you are in a musical. Here we go. Your posture. I could make a whole ballet song to Disney music tune. Actually, every all of my students have already heard that. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Other side. Grab some water if you need. We are going to do a port bra in the center so that doesn't travel. Great. We are going to do. I'm wondering if I could just jump with you for 10 minutes. Would that kill you? <laughs> it might kill Miss Mary. Pretty good. We'll start with port bra. Then we'll do the jumping challenge. This is where I wish I could see everyone. Because my nephew Naomi and I would jump. You guys, you know, the back and forth. 
but maybe we'll have to do like Miss Hannah McNeil or Miss Hannah McNeil. Really no. <sighs> wink, wink. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Okay, so we're going to start with Florida Brow. Just make sure you have some water, staying hydrated, all of that. Good. I bet you guys are all doing a great job right now. The best part is you can teach all these things to your family and be like, no, stretch your legs. No, point your toes more. More posture. Use those abdominals. You know, all those things. Okay. Sorry, what was the music? So you can either start this with your feet in first position and just face straight on. I like step a little forward. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you can do this with your feet in first position facing wall five, or you can do this quasi to wall two with your right foot front. The choice is yours. Either way, you're going to start with your arms and hip on ball. We're going to do first quarter bra three times. So we look one, open two, three, lower four. I'm going to give you a right there. You go. Five, open six, seven, and eight. Third time, one, two, three, four. Then wherever you are, if you are in this line, this quasi line, you're gonna plie, chasse, you're gonna change corners to third arabesque, and hold. If you are where Miss Leone is, uh -huh, you're just gonna go straight forward, and find third arabesque. Ta -da! Okay. Uh -huh. Then, if you're Miss Naomi's line, you're gonna close into first, do a little turn around yourself before we start to the other side. If you're Miss Hannah's line, we're gonna lift our leg. Woo! I hope you have some space. If you can't be quasi, you can just go through that leg straight behind you. Lift your leg a little bit. And then we're gonna close it in front. All right. Does that make sense? Sorry, there are any questions? No. I wouldn't recommend doing this with your foot. Oh. We will start. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Or de bra. Oh, just call it the long. Soft. Or de bra. Classic. I can find. They can't see me, but I. So, normally we do this in two. Okay. Minutes, so we have a rest. So, if you're in my group, you can choose, it doesn't matter. Eight jumps in first. They may play with people go. Eight jumps in first. Just make sure you have a group so that we have a little bit of rest. Then I will do eight jumps in second. Miss Leah, we will do eight jumps in second. I will do eight chants mom. So I'm changing feet. Miss Naomi will do eight chants mom. Then I will do four extra pace, okay? 
jumping second, second, fifth, four times. Miss Naomi will do that. If you are in my level three class, we win. You are je te tonne bay, je te tonne bay, je te tonne bay, four times, four times, then awesome day four times, awesome day four times. Okay. So, I'm going so, so it doesn't matter which group you're in. It's just important to have a group so that way you have a little bit of pause, a little bit of a rest. <sighs> Stretch your legs, point your toes, and jump quietly. If you're in an, like an apartment complex and there's someone beneath you, you'll just have to apologize and say, sorry, I was studying ballet. I'm ready, I'm ready to have one more time. First, second, fifth, changing, échappé. Then if you're my level three, we do je te ton four times. Then assemble four times. Assemble, 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 assemble. Oh, good times here, dancing. Here we go. effective Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a good time. Thank you to Miss Hannah and Miss Naomi. <laughs> really hard. I think they had. I think they worked hard. So good job, you guys. You made them work hard. Thank you, um, Miss Hannah. Thank you, guys. Stay tuned. Naomi. <laughs> we'll be coming back for our jazz class in about 15 minutes. So stick around, and you can come take jazz. <laughs>